All right, guys, we're at the grocery store, Superstore, the goat of Canadian shopping because it's the cheapest. such good workout today what is going on guys welcome to another video we are just under 10 weeks out currently of our first natural bodybuilding competition so a couple things in this video actually while we drive to the gym i want to go over like my new training plan because we did get a coach so i will probably detail that later on um like who it is why i picked him like my plan and everything i can't show you my exact plan because like it's for me but i'll detail like what it is how many calories i'm having everything like that so yeah hopefully maybe i'll get on the phone with him later too and uh i'll just show you guys like a conversation that we have but if you guys are here for the grocery haul i will be doing that after the workout here so, oh, are you going down? Are you down there? Okay. Okay. Have a good day. Bye. What did she say? She was just cleaning the floor? Yeah, I think she was just vacuuming. Okay. But yeah, if you guys are here for the grocery haul, I'll put a timestamp of when it is. Basically, I'm gonna do it after my workout, but I wanna show you guys everything in my workout today because it's not my training program anymore, it's his, so. In terms of uh, like the meal plan itself, I'll go over more of it when I get the groceries for it. But typically, most of the things I already get on a daily basis, like not much is changing at all. If anything, I'm adding one more meal, so I'm having six meals a day now. Calories are like I was having like 2,100 before; they're like 2,300 now. But I'm doing cardio every single day rather than five times a day. So we'll make adjustments as you know we go and how he sees my body react to 2,300 calories. Basically, that's just like added protein. Like my macronutrients in terms of carbs and fats are the same. For the most part and then just my protein has increased so that's where the, like the additional calories come from is mainly protein which is fine i'll be more full that way anyways we are driving to the gym right now i have my post-workout meal because we're going to a gym um in the city which is like 30 minutes away I'm gonna do the grocery haul after and then i'll show you guys that uh because i want to show you guys everything i get in the grocery store so let's go yeah All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here. OG subscribers and people who have followed me for a long time know that this is my old gym, old good life. So still a commercial gym, unfortunately. There's no actual good gyms in fucking Alberta yet, but uh, we're gonna be following my new coach's program. Um, so I can definitely tell already, just from me doing my programming basically my entire life, the intensity is absolutely insane. So I'm gonna show you guys some techniques that he's showing me in terms of um, you know, doing rest, pause, um, you know, pre-activation exercises, stuff like that. So uh, I'll detail that like exercise by exercise when we're in there. But he also wants me to take before every workout, one scoop of wrecked enraged or just the wrecked pre-workout on top of um, the pump serum. So both those are from huge supplements. Uh, if you guys do want to pick up anything, code Terrell on that. But we also have four cranks of salt in here. So pink Himalayan salt is really good for getting more of a pump and just feeling that mind and muscle activation a little bit better, I would say, or mind and muscle connection, sorry, because of that pump. So, and I will be taking BCAs in there. I haven't had BCAs in such a long time, but he wants me to do that intra workout. So I'm gonna have that with, um, yeah, basically just like eight to 12 ounces of water. Water is really crucial, uh, eight to 12 ounces with every single meal. Um, and then also as needed when I'm working out and doing cardio. So we're gonna do that. Then uh, I'll see you guys at the grocery store as well later on, but we're gonna go crush this workout, probably be like an hour and a half, something like that. I'll put all the exercises and shit on the screen. So if I word something improperly, um, you guys know what I'm doing, so. Let's go! All right, so in the program that he wrote up, I'm starting out with uh, basically a pre-activation. So just to get the muscle warmed up and just to get the chest kind of activated before we go into heavy pressing. So uh, we're just doing two sets of 10 to 12 for a machine fly or like a pec tech. Nothing too crazy, like RP7-ish. So I'm leaving like three reps in the tank. Quick two sets, and then we're gonna go into like heavy barbell, probably a heavy uh, DB, DB press too, something like that. So.
All right, so coach uh, said that I should be taking BCAs during my workout. I haven't took, like I mentioned, BCAs like H workout in so long. So all I'm gonna do is take one scoop of this. Technically, I should have more pink salt. That's what we said in the plan. But I'll probably start taking that tomorrow because I forgot my pink salt. So um, just like that. Scoop. So for incline barbell bench today, we only have one top set, uh, which is a lot of people they do that for like intensity, right? Like RP10 type shit. So one top set at eight to ten. I already warmed up with like two other sets. And I don't count those sets; it's just warm ups. But then uh, we're gonna do one back off of like I think ten to twelve. He wants me to do. And then good way to drive intensity, especially if you want to like drive numbers. Just give it all you got for like that one top set. So hey, go turbo, right? Ten weeks out, nine weeks, nine and a half weeks out when this drops. Are you rolling? Coach has in the program uh, basically one set, but you do like one set, rest, pause, one set, rest, pause. So basically it's like three giant sets in one AMRAP each time. We're gonna go eight reps till failure, eight reps till failure, AMRAP, 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 so. Yeah. So the main purpose of this is you just keep going, right? So you should finish your set in like max three minutes. So I'm just gonna wait 20, 30 seconds and then do another AMRAP with the same weight. If you need to go down, go down, but you should probably stick with the same weight for every set. So like three three sets, AMRAP, as many reps as possible. So is that 30 seconds? So you count? <laughs> That's so difficult actually, it's like an intensity exercise. So, have you ever done this before? No. You've never done it? No? I'm gonna get six reps here.
All right, guys, we're at the grocery store, Superstore, the goat of Canadian shopping because it's the cheapest. I'm gonna get basically, maybe I'll throw it up on the screen right now, everything I'm getting, but my coach basically has me on like a super simple plan because when I make adjustments, I want to know where to make adjustments, right? In including like decreasing carb or just like decreasing calories. So I have like six meals. Uh, we're getting steak, chicken, uh, green vegetables, asparagus, stuff like that. And I don't even know what else. Uh, carb sources will be like rice, sweet potato. Um, and then that's basically it. Eggs, shit like that. So, Superstore. Seven a pound. So I get asparagus or green beans with two of my meals. Um, it's like my low carb meals. So I think I'm gonna get two of these. I think that should be enough. Post workout, I get one banana with my chicken and rice meal. Bananas are so good for potassium and just like not getting cramps and shit like that. So I'm gonna get two of these. Or Maybe just one. This is actually a pretty good deal for uh, five pounds of sweet potato, six bucks. So I get sweet potato with my steak meal. I think that's my third last meal of the day. So in terms of like the carb sources, you guys can like switch them up. So you can have like yellow potato, red potato, but I prefer sweet potato and it's the best in terms of like micronutrients as well. So that's like one of three carb meals I get. So I'm gonna get that. And also if you guys have a tough time like being full, get a lot of volume in your meal. So like lettuce, coleslaw, stuff like that. I'm not gonna have too much of that. I wanna stick exactly to what he has in my plan, just for like digestion and like, I, I wanna follow exactly what he's doing, so yeah. Three of my meals every single day. Baby, come on. <laughs> he doesn't want me to get the chicken, bro. Three of my meals a day are with chicken. So I think it's like 160 grams for each meal. I'm gonna be eating a lot of chicken, a lot of steak. So I'm actually gonna buy bulk, but just watch when you guys get chicken, make sure it's like with no skin. Like don't have the fucking deep fried shit like this shit right here, or it's already in the sauce and shit. Don't get this stuff, okay? Get stuff that's just plain chicken so you can put your own, um, you know, sauces and seasoning stuff on it. For the most part, I'm just sticking to salt and pepper, so. Steak of choice I've picked. I don't actually know what cut to get, but for the most part, all steak is gonna be a lot of protein and fat. So if anything, I'm just gonna cut off the fat. Like you see like the white part there? Like all of that is fat, so I'm gonna cut that off and that off. So this is actually not bad. 35 bucks for 1.4 kilograms. I have this in two of my meals right now. So steak, beef, um, chicken, that's gonna be like your main protein sources. And then if you have like whey protein, I have that once a day right now. I get this with two of my meals, 160 grams, then 175 grams. The next time I do a full day of eating, I'll show you guys like my meals and stuff because it has changed since the last full day of eating. Like you can get this, but for an example, like if you get anything you know, like a stir fry or like anything top sirloin, it's gonna be way more expensive. So just take that into consideration if you're on a budget or something. If you guys, uh, if you guys are on a strict, strict, like super strict budget, I'm talking pennies, not pennies, but like you're watching your wallet a little bit more. <laughs> Get pork, okay? Like pork tenderloin, stuff like that. For this whole thing, one kilogram is only $11. And Okay, I thought there was macronutrients, but this is gonna be, I would say like 70% protein and like 30% fat. So it's pretty good and it's pretty cheap. So like pork, you know, your ground beef, stuff like that. So we need a couple more things and we're out here. OGs of the channel know this already too. I used to have apple cider vinegar shots in the morning, fasted with my first meal or like as soon as I wake up. Coach wants me doing this again. So I'm gonna have this. I also need lemon. You gotta remind me, I need a lemon. Every single morning I need to do that now. I think it's, it's more or less for like digestive purposes and uh, just, getting your body going. So one shot every day, unfortunately. Tastes like shit. All we need left is hot sauce, eggs, uh, blueberries, mustard, rice, cream rice, we're done. Mustard, hot sauce, only sauces I get. Cause they're like zero cal. So. Cream of rice, stocking up on this. I still have like three at home, but this shit sells out so quickly. If you guys don't have it where you're at, you can order it on Amazon. I'm pretty sure you can get like packs of like six to 12 for like, I think it's like 80 to 100 bucks. It's pretty expensive. Like one of these is five bucks, but I get cream of rice every single day. 45 grams right now for post workout meal or one of my meals, so. Oh, rice. You guys can have any rice, but I like to 
get the, I tend to get the long grain rice. You guys can have any rice you want. You can have jasmine, you can have uh, basmati, you can have brown rice too. In terms of price to like benefit, I guess, they're all basically the same in terms of like macronutrient. Long grain white rice is gonna be the cheapest. So I usually get like this gym, jumbo minute rice. Um, it's 12 bucks for this whole thing. And this will probably last me, I get rice in two of my meals right now. So probably last me like two weeks, maybe, yeah, maybe three weeks compared to if you get like this right here. One of these packs, yeah, you can buy groups of two for four but I'll be done that in like three days. So buy in bulk, you'll save so much money. You need one frozen veg, frozen veg. My brain's a bush. We need one frozen fruit, or like fruit, blueberries. So, oh, coach wanted me to have pineapple twice a day, but I honestly hate pineapple. I like pineapple, but it's not my cup of tea. So I asked him if I could switch it with blueberries and he said, that's okay. So I'm gonna have this in my creamer rice and then like just another meal throughout the day. So yeah, I'm buying in bulk too. So I'm, I usually only spend like, what do I usually spend? Like 60, maybe $70 a week. And now I'm spending that in red meat, which is fine because I'm only gonna be buying like red meat every single week. Everything else I buy in bulk. So we think ahead, okay? We think of the budget. I'd rather spend my money on hookers and blow. All right, so we got everything. We need it, it's gonna be the same every single week. Keep it simple so that when you have to make adjustments, it's easy to, and you just know where to make adjustments because you eat the same fucking thing every single day. So that's the motto. So that is the entire grocery haul. I'll throw up like the whole list on the screen right now. Basically everything I get, this is gonna be the same every single week until my coach makes adjustments to my plan. And in terms of my coach, I guess, I don't know if you guys know, Matt Grego is my coach. So I was gonna call him actually, but he's working right now. So maybe in the next video, I'll get on like a Zoom call with him and we'll just go over my plan so that you guys can like see how we like work together and shit like that. But yeah, he's a part of huge supplements as well. He's a, obviously a huge inspiration for me. He's fucking massive. The guy's delts are fucking insane. But yeah, he coached a bunch of natural athletes before. He's coached, uh, I don't know if you guys know Joe, Joe Schulk. He's a homie from huge as well. So. So yeah, we're gonna see what we can do. I'm gonna keep eating the exact same foods every single day. I'm doing cardio like every single day, 35 minutes fasted right now. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it up to him to basically make all the adjustments. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be spot on with everything. I already know I'm pretty, I guess, diligent with my stuff that I do, but now having a coach in my corner and shit like that, it's gonna be much easier for me to stay on track and not like have to think about it because I'm at the point of prep now where it's like, I don't wanna think about shit. I would rather someone just do it for me. And I just like put in the work, put in the hours of cardio, you know, train, put in the hours and training, just eat my meals and just, just focus on posing and just the, the actual, you know, not, not the back end work. And that's exactly why I got a coach. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys did like this type of shit, um, let me know. I'll do more of the shit in the future, but yeah, shout out, shout out Matt Grego. We're going to bring an incredible package to the stage, hopefully, and then see what we can do naturally. So thank you guys so much for watching. Sub, like if you enjoyed it and yeah, peace out. Love you guys.